But where did he get to? Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear. I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel. duel. <laughs> 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 oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick, pack it up, don't be stingy. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Someone save me, please! Ah! Someone help! <laughs> Oot. Oot. My suit. Oot. Oot. Mice. Help! <laughs> Mice! 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 What happened? Hey, where did the sun go? Oh, I can't take it. What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old, too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned! Better run away, or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> To. He must have flown off to eat something. Villain! Hello! If we let spots and stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, We'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. Ah! 
greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> hey, don't stand around. Let's go. Never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day. If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for. Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure. Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it. Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Mike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird, your friend. It's a deal! Great. Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, we'll just show you. Uh-huh, we'll show you. <laughs> Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. One, two, and pull! Oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah! Come help us! <laughs> I am helping you. Helping you keep a rhythm. One, two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Whoa! <laughs> Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Hoot. Hoot. Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Stop, stop, stop. Who do you think you're ordering around? 
Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. Farewell, Australia! Woo! <laughs> The Mysterious Guest. I'm telling you, there's no way you can do it. You're a leopard. And leopards don't fly. But that's only because leopards don't have any wings. Or at least, not before today. Leo, what exactly do you need those wings for? What do you mean, what for? Come on, let's fly with the eagles. We'll be able to see the whole taiga. Aw, oh, Tig, come along with me. No, 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 no. I already flew with the eagles once before. That was plenty. If you say so, I'm going to fly. <laughs> Woo! Told you so. Leopards don't fly. Ugh. Maybe my wings are a little too small. I need some bigger leaves. Leo, stop picking leaves, would you? Let's just go and play. Tig, you go. I'll go later. All right, come and play after you're done flying, <laughs> my feathered friend. Wow. Look at that. Tig! Tig! Wait up! Oh, Leo! Did you fly already? Tig! Guess what I saw? Just now in the sky. It was huge with big wings. Was it an owl? No, it wasn't an owl. No way. It was this big thing that was flying and made of wood and it landed just over there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You saw a wooden bird? You're too much, Leo. You spend too much time daydreaming about flying. You don't believe me? Okay, fine. I'll go and find it all by myself. Wow! There it is. The wooden bird. Yeah, this is definitely much better than leaves. Interesting. I wonder who made it. Whoa, oh, and what's this? Footprints? They're so weird. Whose are they? What's this? What's this I smell now? It smells like a leopard cub. Hmm, and something else. Ah, something else new. Something that smells truly delicious. Tig, hurry up already. Come on, it's my turn now. Uh-huh, hold on, just a little more. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Tig, <sighs> you've been on the swing forever. We want a turn. There you are. I have something to tell you all. You'll never guess what I saw. Hold on, hold on. A giant flying bird made of wood. Ugh. Wait. Leo saw that as well, but I didn't believe him. Really? Where's Leo anyway? He went to the swamp to look for that big flying thing. He said that it went over there. In the swamp? Maba just told me that he was in the swamp and he saw the wolf. The wolf? Leo's there all by himself. Hurry, let's run. We have to warn Leo. Leo, Leo, wait! <laughs> hey! <gasps> Hi there. <gasps> huh, that was awesome. What a big jump. Who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I'm Leo. I just saw your thing with wings flying in the sky. Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, okay? <laughs> we, monkeys of the Guardian Tribe, never ever cry. Hmm. 
would we have here? Hmm. Oh, a little, little animal. Something that smells very appetizing. It isn't my old friend. That's meeting you here. Ah. Hurry, run! Ah. You're not getting away this time. Oh. Ah. This way, jump up here. Ah. What's wrong? Can't you climb up? <laughs> Maybe not, but I can chew. So, you mean that chubby boar, the tasty weasel, the lynx, and the tiger cub? <gasps> ah. ah, that's excellent news. Oh no! Tig! Mila! Uh, do you think your friends can scare him off? We'll have to warn them! Yara! Kuba! Stay far away <laughs> from there! <laughs> you louder leopard cub! Then they'll get here even faster. <laughs> what do we do? I'll go and warn them. By the way, my name is Lily. <laughs> oh, huh? no matter. She probably won't taste good anyway. <sighs> but I won't let this leopard cub get away from me. Uh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> This is it! It's the big wooden bird! That's the big thingamajig. But where's Leo? Well, maybe whoever flew this thing was the one who captured him. <sighs> ah! Okay, come clean. Where did you take Leo? Um, um... Give up! You're going to break a tooth! They say that eating a leopard is very bad luck. Whoever eats one loses all his fur. Huh? It's true. It's better to be hungry than bald. Ah! 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 Hold on, ah! Leo. Huh? We're coming. Uh. Ah! Uh, look, Tim. We're flying. Leo, hop on. Sorry, I should have believed you when you told me. It's okay. What matters is that we're flying! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay then, so tell us, Lily, how did you end up in our forest? Uh, I sort of made a mistake. Since ancient times, our tribe of monkeys have guarded the treasure of the jungle. But one day, someone started hunting the treasure, and they almost stole it. So my father, the Monkey King, decided to hide the treasure of the jungle in a secret place, on an island along a raging river. The only way you could get there is by flying over. And so, my father built a big flying ship. And I... I really wanted to try it out. So one night, when everyone was asleep, I climbed in and took off. I just wanted to try it out. But then, there was a huge hurricane. The wind swept me up and carried me along for days. It only just died down today. But I had to find a place where I could land the flying ship because I couldn't turn it around by myself. And now all because of me, my home is in danger. <laughs> and so is the treasure. It's all my fault. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, dear little monkey. I think that I know a way to get you to your home. Really? Which way do I need to go? I've heard it said that the tribe of the little monkeys reside far, oh, so far to the south 
You would have to fly for several days, so the morning sun is always shining down on you. As long as you travel with true friends, you will be safe, no matter where your journey takes you. But where am I supposed to find true friends? <sighs> Who's going to want to fly with me? We'll fly with you. Won't we, guys? Yeah, we'll go. let's go. Listen, Lily, what kind of treasure is this treasure? It's a secret. Only the tribal elders know what it is. The only thing I know is that it supposedly works miracles. It could work miracles for me. That treasure's gonna be mine. We gotta get over there. Do you hear me? We gotta go. Before the spots and stripes get it, we gotta get over there. Spike, but tell me, how are we gonna do that? How do you think? By flying! <laughs> Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, how our dear Tiger is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses. Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble. And so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig. Guardians of the Taiga. No, Tig, the Guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the Taiga. Well, how about the Taiga Patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Taiga Patrol comes to the rescue. Ah, <laughs> I just can't. Spots and stripes down there. <laughs> the Taiga Patrol. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Enough! Just... Just go away! No, 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 no. You'll fail anyways. You'll make fools of yourselves. <laughs> That's right, you'll fail. <laughs> Leo, so who are we going to help first, huh? Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Tiger Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just, let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. 
I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, left. Good. Hello, Beaver Bro. Do you need any help on your Beaver River? Nah, no need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. You're the Tiger Patrol. Well, now that changes everything. Get put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey. Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You're a plague, not a patrol! Uh, so, you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake. We'll move it for you, no problem. Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, here, here. Stand, stand like that. Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike, Spike, quiet. <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared. <laughs> I knew it. You're just up to your old tricks again. And you are going to pay for this, you imposters. Ha! <laughs> I bet you can't catch us. <laughs> 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 We've got to lead them to the trap. <laughs> hey, Spotty Patrol! <laughs> You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good! That's it! You're gonna get it for good! <laughs> 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 you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey, you can't leave. Don't go. Please come back. Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear. If anyone needs help... They are the ones who need saving. Who do? 
The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. A gift from the spirit of the tiger. So sweet. So fresh. What a nice chubby boy. Came for lunch himself. Stop right there. Okay, this way. And... Okay, now this way. <laughs> I found him! <laughs> very, very good job. Did you see it? Cuba spent like half an hour sniffing around and I'm like, bam, bam, and found it. I've got an awesome nose. <laughs> well done, Tig. So, Mama Candigo, where did the sense of smell even come from? Oh, that's an ancient story, children. Once upon a time, animals didn't have any sense of smell at all. Oh, <gasps> that's incredible. Listen to the story. In those ancient times, animals were relying only on their eyes and ears. But one day, a harsh winter came to the taiga. The weather was freezing cold like never before, and a thick blanket of snow covered the earth. It became very hard for animals to find food, and they began starving. And it seemed like the winter would last forever. The spirit of the tiger felt sorry for its children, and so it gave them the sense of smell to find food even under the thickest layer of snow. <gasps> to every single one? Sure. And the keenest sense of smell was given to fierce predators, the wolves. That's why you need to be more careful. There are rumors that a red wolf came to our woods. Oh, dear me. That means no more woods for me. Mappa, let's go look for flowers. It's my turn now. <laughs> sure, Mila. Tig, where's Cuba? Cuba? Probably still looking around for his flower. <laughs> the spirit of Taiga didn't do a good job on his nose. <laughs> No, Tig. He's not in the bushes. What if he went to the woods? The Red Wolf is there. Nah, he must be around here. Tig, we have to find him. Cuba! Hello? Cuba! Where are you? Tig, stop screaming like...
like that. We don't want the Red Wolf to hear us. Leo, how do we find him? By his tracks? Can you see them? No, Tig. We'll find Cuba by the smell, like you found flowers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pick up his trail at once. <laughs> Leo, listen. What does Cuba smell like? Seriously? Like acorns, of course. Here, smell this one. Well? Wait, don't distract me. I think... I think, uh... Ah. Got it! Do you smell it? That's definitely Cuba's aroma. Let's find him! Apparently he went off the trail. But why would he go into the woods? Ugh. It's all because of you, Tig. If it weren't for you, Cuba wouldn't go anywhere. What did I do now? Weren't you making fun of him, Tig? Cuba! You've been searching for half an hour! <laughs> Maybe you forgot your nose at home. <laughs> oh, I know! You exchanged your nose for acorns! <laughs> I didn't know that he'd take it so personally. Tig, it's not okay to laugh at friends. Do you like it when Martins make fun of you? <laughs> For being afraid of heights so much? Okay, okay, I get it now. Stop! Where's the smell? It disappeared. <gasps> I don't like this at all, Leo. So who is he hiding from? Leo, I sense another smell. Calm down, Tig. He's not even real. Cuba, come on. Go away, go away. Let's go. We have to save Cuba. Right, if he hasn't gotten eaten already. What a surprise. A kitten dessert. Leo, do you think this one's real? Ah! Ah, ah, ah. He said we're dessert. Must have eaten Cuba already. Oh. And now he's gonna eat us. Ah! Quickly! Here. 
What's going on? Where did you two go? Uh, I don't understand. I was following the trail. Uh, all right. You've outsmarted me. But next time, you won't manage to run away from me. <laughs> it worked! He left! He couldn't smell us! <laughs> Tig, thanks to the monster, the mud covered our smell! <laughs> Cuba! Yeah! Our missing boy is back! <laughs> and we thought you were the Bobland monster, not Cuba! <laughs> Listen, Cuba, you know, I'm sorry I was making fun of you. You might not have a sharp sense of smell, but I would never, ever think of hiding like that. <laughs> and this is Lily of the Valley. My favorite. Here, smell it. Amazing, right? Ew! Mamba, it smells like frogs! <laughs> You're right. That smells very weird. Very weird. It's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a muddy monster! I'm gonna save everyone! Tig, you're nothing like a monster. You're just a dirty little tiger cub. <laughs> yeah, one who smells like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, watch this. I got this. I am gonna hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all, it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. <laughs> Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. No! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. <gasps> Look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it! That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. Uh. 
Remember, Baby T, Tiger is the Tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T, do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Roar! <laughs> Well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. Ah! And who's that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be, because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys, does it really even matter? He's just a baby. Oh, guys, guys, wh wh where is T? You. Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Baby T. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way, but where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo, T, where are you? Say something. Uh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up. It turns out that T is a water dweller. What? A water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes! He's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here! With an extra crispy tortilla shell! <laughs> Baby T. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak 
off Baby T. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Run, T! Save yourself! <laughs> Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. <laughs> huh? oh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. Ugh. Boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Theodore has lost his, uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing, inspir. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo, by the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. <laughs> Ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds like a star among the crowds. Oh no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your uh, the thing that what's it called, huh? Ta 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 ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for. The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. Is so, so magnificent. It, it's like uh, uh, like a flower. Like uh, 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 inspiration livens up everything, even the most commonplace trees. You can see how they breathe. Oh. I think I found it. Found what? That thing, you know. Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. Uh -huh. This is the 
one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A what magical is this stone. magical stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful! Hmm, beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine! Hmm. Ta 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 Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. <laughs> Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Help! 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 You hear that? Help! Someone's calling for help! Let's get moving! Go! Go! Help me! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! The magical stone! <laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here. Let's run! Hmm, that's strange. No one was there. <gasps> Who cried for help? Hold on! Where's the stone? It was right there! <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <gasps> Such cunning trickery! I just can't believe it! In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go. <laughs> Give me the stone! We're the ones who found it! Is that right? Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. What? Isn't that right? Sounds about right! <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone! Not gonna happen! Let's roll! Go Give out, us get a stone! <laughs> Stop! Please! <laughs> I think we lost them. Haha, -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No, it's mine now! Marcus, let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie no, has no, the, the stone, stone is ours! Stone. Hey, wait! Come back here! We can't catch Magpie for sure. But well, what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean that is to say you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your, da 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 inspiration. We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration, and the stone... <laughs> It's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, On your friends you can rely. 
<laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> To the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. With our friends standing side by side, what we do is quite the right. Let's take an adventure, we'll make it a joint venture. Have a look at all this magic. Oh, 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 oh. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Oh, 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 oh. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. Oh, oh. Days they are enhancing. Have a look at all this magic. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, somebody's dancing. Keep looking. The stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gotcha! I got it! Mommy! Breaking news! Magpie saved the magical stone Have from the thieves! Look at Breaking all news. this magic. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. <laughs> the funny cassowary. My turn. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one. And whoa! Who fell down from the sky? How interesting! Who are you? Stay away from me! How did I get here? <laughs> if I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home. Home sweet home. <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. <laughs> oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there. <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! Ah! There is 
is nothing better than going along Strolling the forest while singing a song If you sing a duo with a good friend All around will hear that great sound Come on and sing along Feel free, take a chance Sing and do it round Meanwhile you dance Look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come <laughs> along, there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> and he has the nerve to go and laugh at us. Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. And if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music. <laughs> I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! 
That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, no. This is my forest, too. Oh. Cass, come on. You can do it. It's almost like dancing. Come on, dance away. Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. No. <laughs> what? Cass, dance away! Now we'll see who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah. According to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown and a liar, too. I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend, you dumb little animal. Come on! Did you really trip him up? I, 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 uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello? This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys, look over there. There she is. Lily. Hooray. Lily. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I have to admit, <laughs> you're pretty good at this. <laughs> I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Maybe we should just turn back. I'm afraid that we won't make it. Land! Land! I can't seem to turn it. I've got an idea. Tig, move away the way. But just move it out of the way. Uh-huh. I'm moving it away. All right, everyone, starboard. Hooray! We did it, guys! Yay! Yay! We did it! <laughs> What's that? <gasps> the ice ball. I think we're really lost now. Uh, can you imagine spending the whole winter here? Uh. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? We are friends of Lily the monkey. We're helping her find her way back home. And we are the Voguing Penguins, Penguins from, from the, the House, House of, of Wind Pingo. Pingo. And I am Stella, the house mother. And this is Hernando and Creon. Are they your children? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we just, just really like, like to vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. We're going to the ice ball. It's going to be held 
in Queen Maud land. <laughs> I can see that you've run into a slight <coughs> issue. Ooh la la. No way. This isn't just a little issue. No way. This is a big problem. Not at all. House of Gwynpingo is famous not only for its style, but for its hospitality as well. Uh, uh, but what about the ball? Stella, we can't be late. Hernando, I'm surprised at you. Leaving our guests to suffer on our island? Oh my, that just isn't right. Wait for us here. I think that I might know what to do. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Finally, land! It's just so, 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 so much colder than the ocean! Stop whining! We'll warm up soon enough! Oh, well. Ah, very interesting. Follow me! <laughs> we really need to think about how to get our ship out of here. <sighs> or at least find out how to warm up. <laughs> you see that? S something shining. Let's get a closer look. Take a look at that. What if we break off a couple of them to use? They could be like levers for the ship. <laughs> When you work, you'll warm up right away. One, two, and push! It's working! You hear that? The snow is cracking! Hey! Get our ship out soon! Hey! I don't think that's the snow cracking! Well, what exactly is your brilliant idea? Look! The lava from the volcano is still warm. We need to take some of the warm rocks and lay them all around that wooden bird. <gasps> Ooh la la. That's great. The snow and ice will melt and it can fly away from here. Uh, just one problem, Stella. Uh, how do we get the rocks back down there? <gasps> Ooh. Look, villain. Aren't we lucky we just happened upon these hot rocks? What do you mean? Tell me, who exactly are you? I'm a friend of your guests. Uh, we were flying behind them, but then we landed. Uh, we saw that they were in trouble and that they needed help. They said that you guys also want to help them out. Well then, let's help them together. <laughs> what a great idea! <laughs> Together! It's more fun! Faster, faster, faster! You two are penguins, not snails! Just look at him! That Tasman is a real commander! Uh-huh. A commander who's willing to burn our nest to a total crisp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're such trusting penguins! These hot stones are actually for us, not them! So we don't burn let your guests! Silly spots and silly stripes! Figure it out! They can fend for themselves! <laughs> let them sit in the snow! <laughs> <sighs> Great! No one deceives the house of Gwyn Pingo and gets away with it. I know exactly how to beat them. Hernando, Creon, follow me! Let's give them the totem pole! Oh. 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 Is anyone still doubting my magnificent leadership skills? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's them! Oh. 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 
Aha! You liars! You won't get away from the house of Winpingo, Hernando, Creon, Totem Pole. <sighs> These losers are all friends now? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not at all surprised? <laughs> We're not losers. We'll show you everyone together. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Desmond, I think you might have ended up stealing too many rocks here. Uh, hold on tight! Hold the mess! Hold the mess! Ah! Ah! Well, I didn't know holding the nest was so hard for you. Hey, how about you just jump off? Then you can show those losers your leadership skills. Well, I'm sure warm now. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, it stylish. was. <laughs> we have to think up a new dance to honor our victory. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <Alex. laughs> do you want us to fly you to the ball on our ship here? Oh, that would be just lovely. I never arrived at a ball in a <laughs> flying ship. Perhaps you would like to learn how to dance the Vogue. It's such a fabulous day. Hernando, Creon, wonderful idea. My friends, would you like to join the house of Gwyn Pingo? Of course you would! Then let's go, my friends. We'll show you the moves on the way there. The ice ball is over there in Queen Maudland. And now, turn your attention to the voguing house of Gwyn Pingo! Oh, I think the house of Gwyn Pingo beats everyone! No one has ever made such a grand entrance before! Such elegance has never been seen! Boom, boom, boom. We are so very different, also so very different, with our spots and our sun beaks, paws and flippers, even feet. We Stranger, you see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! 
Someone seems to be in danger. Aren't you getting sick of yelling? Don't you realize no one can hear you scream out here? Oh, but he's so small and bright white. He desperately needs our help. <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. Mama! Oh, no, oh, no, oh. Jump to us! Quickly! <gasps> How dare you! Give me back my lunch! Hey, you kids! You up there! I'm going to teach you a lesson. You up there! Bring me back my lunch! Hi, little buddy. I'm Leo. Tell us, what's your name? I'm back, and I want to go home <laughs> to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. I ended up getting lost. <laughs> don't cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. <laughs> Thank you. Look down there. He looks exactly like Abak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Abak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! No! Oh, ow, ow! Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. Elephant seal babies are always black. But white babies are sea calves. Uh, so that means a pack's a sea calf? Hmm. He's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> we look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, some animals got tired of living on land and they decided to live in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper and farther than the others suddenly grew long snouts they were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids! Bring me back my lunch! How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left 
And finally, you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No. Sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay. Then Tig and I will take Apac. And you guys can guard the ship. But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apac. And I'm Otney. Are you two out here all by yourself? Yeah, we're helping our friend Apac get back home to the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apac! Ah, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apac's parents are waiting, and so am I. Uh, are you a hard shield? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such... such great big flippers, huh? Ah, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> Whoa. That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey, why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? No, <laughs> I think that this heart seal isn't really a heart seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard! Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> oh. Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary! <sighs> 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 Come now. I've delivered your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe yeah. and sound. Yeah. Uh, uh. Mama, I miss you both so much. Apac, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, that I'll swim to the taiga to visit you. A pack! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tasman, why are you looking at us like that right now? Hmm, no reason. I'm just thinking about who I'm going to eat first. <laughs> what do you mean, eat first? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have seen yourselves. You were so petrified. <laughs> so, does that mean that you're not going to eat us? Who needs a bag of bones like you? Hey, look, land ho! Hoot, hoot. Huh? Hoot, hoot. 
Hold on. The paints of Africa. Interesting. What exactly is this place? That's why we're doing reconnaissance, Tig, to figure that out. I was just wondering. We always end up running into some really strange looking locals. Animals that have beaks, ugh, ugh, and birds. Some who fly and some who don't. So I wonder who we'll run into here. Maybe uh, some kind of five-winged duck-billed creature. You're a duck-billed creature, Tig. Hey, do you see these normal looking hoof prints? It must be some kind of deer. Let's go and meet them. Enough fooling around. Go out there and find us something to eat. Ooh. Okay, fine. But what are you gonna do? I guess I'll keep an eye on Philin. Uh, and keep your eyes peeled. Figure out where stripes and spots have landed. A deer, you said. Ha! Look there. Spots just like yours. Maybe he's a strange leopard. Oh, <laughs> we have guests, Zako. Uh, we have guests, man. I am pleased uh, to meet you. Man. I am Jiro. And I'm not a leopard. I'm a giraffe. Man. This here is Zako. <laughs> and he's a parrot. We have guests, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo, and this is Tig and Kuba. What are you drawing up on that wall over there? That's such a big picture. We're not drawing. We're writing. You could say we're artists. We're artists. We're artists. We're writing. Zuffle. We're writing, 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 this writing, writing. This is called Sunrise in Africa. Ah, yes. Writing, writing, <laughs> writing, writing, writing. It isn't finished just yet. I hope that we're going to have enough paint in order to finish it. To finish it. Enough paint. Magical paint. Magical paint. Magical uh, paint. Zako uh, is asking. If you are familiar uh -huh. with the legend uh -huh. of the magical paint. Mm. We know a lot of legends, but that one is new to us. Oh, well then, come and sit down with us. Zako uh -huh. and I were about to take a break anyway. Enough for Zako! <gasps> Did you draw all those as well? We write, we write, we I write! Mean, did you write that? No, no. These are ancient drawings. Allow me to tell you all about the legend. A long time ago, when Africa was still quite young, a wildfire spread from coast to coast and turned this colorful land into a gray and scorched wasteland. It was a sad, sad time. Everything everywhere became bleak, all shades of gray. And then the spirit of the savannah gathered up the last of its strength and created a most magical paint. The animals painted our Africa once again, and nature came back to life. And that is the legend of the magical paint. So if these paints bring nature to life, if we draw ourselves some food, then we'll be able to feast to our heart's content. Hey, but then why didn't the painting come to life? Listen, do you have fur in your ears? The giraffe even said that his painting isn't even finished yet. Come on, before somebody sees us. Before someone sees, before someone sees. Milky, but why are you repeating what I just said? Did you hit your head or something, man? That wasn't me. Brad, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, that means it's probably the magical paint talking to us. Magical paint talking, magical paint talking, talking. What? But that can't, can't be. Can't be, can't be. Hey, Spike, let's get out of here while we're still in one still piece. Still in one piece. But I think well, I might have heard piece. that voice somewhere today already. I recognize we it. We write and write and write and uh -huh. write. So someone was trying to scare us. Gotcha, chatterbox. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Milky, get the paints. Gotcha, chatterbox. What happened, Zako? Get the paint, Milky. Get the paint. Milky, Milky. The mountains. 
Those creatures took off with all of our paint. Took off with our paint, the magical paint. We'll get your paint back for you. Hey, come back. You only think of yourselves. Come on, give back the paint. I'm telling you. <laughs> You'll have to catch us first. Frank, get back here. They're catching up to us. They're going to get us. to life. <laughs> and then Tasman will be able to eat it. You first. <laughs> Tasman doesn't want to break a tooth. One, two, three. Create the apple for me. It's nothing but regular paint. But, but it can't be. This, this is magical paint. Uh, I don't understand what happened. Spike, uh, maybe we need to say some magic words or something? Abracadabra! What is wrong with you, Milky? <laughs> you really are nuts! Uh, the legend mentioned the spirit of the savannah. Maybe we gotta ask it for help. What do we do now, Leo? Well, we have to bring back the magic paint. Uh-huh. But where do we even look for it? Good job, Kuba! You found some tracks! Oh! Spirit of Savannah! Please! Bring this apple to life for us so that we may snack upon it! Oh, that must be it. The spirit of the savannah. Thank you for coming to us. Oh. Hey, the spirit looks just like Coolby, don't you think? Give us back the magical paint right now. Uh, we need it for ourselves. After all, we just painted an apple, as you can clearly see. Tasman, but what if it's a... However, Tasman will gladly exchange these very magical paints for any supplies you may have to offer. I'll exchange you, you thief! Give us that paint! I'll only exchange them for food! <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> you... You won't be able to finish the painting. We tried, but we couldn't save the magical paints. The magical paints? But those paints weren't the magical paints. Magical paints! Wait, they weren't? Weren't magical paints! Ah! You mean you really thought that they were the magical paints from the legend? You mean they weren't? But of course not. That's nothing but a fairy tale. Fairy tale! Although it is true that we can finish the painting now, we'll have to find a solution soon. <laughs> we can make new paints. In fact, you can help us. It's quite easy. All we need is just a little bit of imagination and a touch of inspiration and the most magical colors of Africa. Drink. Oh. 
<laughs> Drink! Drink! Stop your whining, Feathers! You drank two days ago! <laughs> Three! All right, all right, there's a lake ahead. Let's land there! The fastest runner. Drink! <laughs> Drink! <laughs> Shoo! That's my lake! If you want to drink, first you have to beat me in a race. Then you can have some water. Okay. We'll go find another lake. Just go ahead and try. The next lake is very far away. Ooh. It'll take you two Ooh, listen, days. Uh, the filling isn't going to last that long. <sighs> hey, you, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> How far do we have to run? It's not that far, just down to that rock. All right, but we'll need to stretch a bit first. Follow me. Great, I'll do the same. Yeah, I need to stretch as well. One, uh, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Tasman? Uh, how are we going to beat him? We're going to set a trap. And you, Featherhead, I want you to stay there. Keep watch for us. Ooh. Stop there! The Asayara Lake is all mine. If you want to drink, then you're gonna have to race me. And you're gonna have to win. <laughs> but what kind of weird rule is that? It's probably just what they do here. So if you beat me, <laughs> you can have some water. Okay, fine. Leo, you go. No one can beat you. Let me guess. You need to stretch first as well? Hey, so I huh. heard that you're all planning to race the cheetah? Did I hear correctly? Yeah, we're just stretching a little first. Well, you know, many a creature has tried to beat him before, but no one has succeeded. Not even me. Ha, <laughs> but you're a turtle. The cheetah is like Leo and me. We're fast cats. Yes, <gasps> leopards <gasps> are quite fast, but cheetahs are faster. <gasps> faster than Leo? Like a bolt of lightning? Listen to the legend and learn for yourself. Long ago in Africa, there was a boastful cheetah. He loved saying that he could run faster than any other creature. And so one day he invited everyone to race him and he proceeded to beat them all. But the hippo happened to notice that the cheetah runs fast, but gets tired quite quickly. And so the hippo came up with an idea. He would challenge the cheetah to run at dawn, all the way down to the large rock. But the hippo had a trick up his sleeve. He went and asked the elephant to take the rock further down to the river. And then, when the race began, the cheetah only ran as far as to where the rock had been before it was moved. The hippo made it all the way down to the rock and taught the cheetah a lesson about bragging. <gasps> so that means that we can beat the cheetah if we run farther than he's used to? <laughs> all right, uh, one, two, three, stretch. <laughs> well then, are you ready to race now? Listen up, cheetah. They say that no one in Africa is faster than you. Of course not. What else do you expect? Then how about if we don't just have a simple race? Let's have a championship. A championship? I like that idea. Woohoo! What do we do? Ha! Huh. We run past the rock all the way to the baobab tree. Then whoever wins is the owner of the whole lake. Hmm. Owner of the whole lake? Well... What's the matter, Cheetah? Are you scared? Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll run in the championship race. However, I get to pick who will race me. I think I'll pick him. You picked Kuba? Uh-huh. We're running to the faraway Baobab tree. Whoever beats Cheetah will be the owner of the whole lake. No, but we know that the traps aren't set up over there. Hey, Melky, go and race with them. 
Spike and I will set up some new traps. And make sure you get there first, you got it? Ah! Hey, Melky, are you gonna run in the race as well? <laughs> Go ahead and snicker! Uh-huh, soon that whole lake will be ours! Look at them all! A chubby little boar! <laughs> a baby Martin! Oh, I know! How about if we throw a turtle in as well? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I still haven't finished running the last race. Hey, hey, hey! Drink. Drink. No drinking! <laughs> no one drinks from my lake, you hear me? I'm gonna win! Get lost! <laughs> on your marks! And get set! Go! Beat my own record! <laughs> hey. 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 Oh, finally, the last one's set up. <laughs> They're going to run right through our first trap. Uh, but how is Milky gonna know where the new traps are? <sighs> What's wrong with me? Come on, Cheetah, you're the fastest! <sighs> Uh, I'm getting so tired! Hey! What happened? Why did it get dark? Ow! 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 I'm so tired! I need a break! I'm so tired! <sighs> Cheetah is gonna lose to some chubby boar. Someone help me! Uh, I can't be down from here! Oh! Hey, where are you going? Stop! No! From now on, the Asai Ara Lake is all yours. The whole lake. <laughs> Kuba, Kuba. <laughs> Kuba says that he'll give us all the lake. It now belongs to everyone. <laughs> water. Thirsty. I need water. Water. No one laughs. Don't forget, one must always treat others how one wishes to be treated oneself. I officially declare that the Asai Ara Lake is open. <laughs> Drink. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone. Shame on you. Shame on you for being so greedy. I promise that I won't be greedy anymore. And I won't Ooh. brag. Kuba. Hey, look, I'm really sorry that I laughed at you. You really are strong and such a good runner. Kuba says he forgives you. He's a bore. See you later. Come visit again soon. The Asai Ara Lake is always full of water for our friends. <laughs> and you can come run with me. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, help me, someone. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Look, I finally found the little bugger. Then go, get him down. Get me down from here. 
Milky, what are you whining for? Uh, oh. Uh, Jasmine, buddy! Oh, you I get can't it down, take right? it! You fell into your own trap! Ah! No! <laughs> you got trapped in your own trap as well! Now just be quiet! <laughs> I'll get you when I get down. Helen! <laughs> Helen! Come here, you featherhead! Hurry up and save Ooh. us! <laughs> A game for a rhinoceros. Look at him sleeping. You can't wake him up. It's your own fault. What did you expect, Tasman? You kept the poor owl flying all night long. It appears to me that somebody here is dissatisfied with something. No, no, no one here is dissatisfied with anything. I was merely uh, 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 sharing my opinion. Well, you should keep your opinions to yourself. Or otherwise. Uh, but come on, Tazzy, old pal. We're good friends now, I mean, aren't we? Why is this small fry bothering me like this? Get away! Shoo! Uh, Tasman? Uh, uh, I think maybe the birdie just wants to make friends with you. Make uh. friends with me? I don't need anybody uh. trying to make friends with me, okay? Friendship equals weakness! Check the ropes. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, Koopa buddy, you gotta wake up now. It's time to fly away. <laughs> Whoa! You hear that? Listen to how much fun they're having. Maybe they're having some sort of party or something like that. They're having so much fun. We should go and join in. Tig, but it's time for us to fly off now. Yeah, but all we do is fly these days, Leo. I've already forgotten how we used to play and have fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I would also like to play something. Okay, then. Let's go and have some fun. <laughs> hey there, you guys. Can we join in on your game? Sure, no problem. The more the barrier. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. would you look at that? It seems spots and stripes are here. Hey, you're playing a fun game. Well, well, well. Uh, 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 come on, come on, let's go and play with them, huh? Oh, please. You want to play? Sure, we can play. Hide and seek. We can focus on the hiding part. <laughs> psst, psst. Listen to my plan. We're going to kidnap the monkey and steal the ship for ourselves. That's a great <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we want the monkey? <sighs> the monkey is the one who can show us where to find the treasure. Got it? Oh, I get it now. I get it. Then let's get going. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I join in the game? Well, okay. Uh, so what's your name, huh? Um, uh, Tonda. Well, okay, Tonda. Come play. The more the merrier. No, no, no. But not with us. You can't play with us. Hey, where are you going? What about the game? Hmm, strange. Anyway, want to play catch? <laughs> Come on! No, no, no! Hide and seek will be better. I really miss the days when we used to play hide and seek. Oh, yeah? Well, I call dibs. Go hide, I get to seek first. One, two, three. Tonda? But what are you doing? 
I'm hiding. <laughs> you're white, but you're way wider than the tree. If you hide there, Leo would find you straight away. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Tonda, what are you doing? He's gonna spot you from a thousand feet away. Uh, uh, Nine, huh? ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come. It seems you're a little big for the hiding part of hide and seek, huh, Tonda? I'm really sorry. Well, why don't we just play a different game then? Good idea, Yara. As Mappa always says, wherever there are friends, a game can always be found. All wearing one piece. Uh, I've done it again. I always ruin everything. Tonda, <laughs> don't cry. First the giraffes ran away. <laughs> and now you guys want to leave. This always happens to me. I'm just too big for anything. Well, it's not so much that you're too big. It's just uh, you're too large. If only, oh, if only rhinos were still small like they used to be. <laughs> if only things were like before. Like before uh, how? What's wrong? Don't you know about the legend? We heard about the legend when our daddy told us about it. A long, long time ago, the savannah was home to the very first little rhinoceros. And he was teeny tiny, almost as small as a bunny rabbit. He went to the spirit of the savanna, and he asked for a special favor. He wanted to grow. He asked to be bigger and even bigger still. And the rhino got so big that he outgrew all of his enemies. He was proud to be so big, but he also outgrew all of his friends. He was worried that he might crush somebody's paw or maybe stand on their tail by accident. And so the rhino became sad. Nobody wanted to play games with him anymore. Then one day, the rhino met a little bird who was so lonely. His name was Oxpecker. The bird wasn't afraid, so he didn't try to fly away. Quite the opposite. The little bird was able to see that the huge rhino was a delicate soul who was sensitive and had a kind heart and wasn't frightening at all. And so the little bird and the rhino became friends and played together. Ever since then, the little oxpecker birds have been inseparable from the enormous rhinos. That's awesome! <laughs> Tonda, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not even the little oh. birds hey, will my... be friends with me. <laughs> Tonda, but don't leave. <laughs> to be our captive. Uh, just hand over the monkey, would you? Just try and take her, little friend. Uh, but she's really big, Tasman. You can do what you want, but I'm out of here. Uh, uh, that makes two of us. Yeah, she's a little too big. 
Lily, uh, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, Tonda and the little bird saved me. Uh. You drove away all of those annoying little flies. Thank you so much. What's that? You said you want to play a game with me? Really? <laughs> it looks like our friend Tonda <laughs> has someone to play games with. <laughs> Bye, Tonda! Bye, Tonda! Bye. Nice that the cute little bird has finally found her very own rhino. <laughs> and Tonda has finally found herself a good friend. <laughs> We've already flown past these acacias. Don't you think that we might be lost? Oh, this is really bad. Our water supply is running low. <gasps> hey guys, look! We haven't seen those black cacti yet. That means we haven't flown through here. Oh, wow. Live moving cacti. They don't look like cacti. They look more like hedgehogs. Well, then, we have to land and ask them the way. Each according to their ability. <laughs> so, how does it look on me? Ah, it fits you like a glove. Go on, then. Give us a little twirl. <gasps> oh, my. Prickle my needles. <gasps> it's a giant wooden bird! Oh my! Ah! Someone protect me! Uh. Uh, hello, my name is Leo. And this is Tig, Martik, Lily, Mila, Yara, and Kuba. <laughs> We've flown to you from the forest, from the north. What are you? Are you African hedgehogs? What? We're not any kind of hedgehog at all. We are porcupines, Shade, Jemima, and Needle. And thanks to the wind whipped up by your big wooden bird, we ended up having to interrupt our, our, our way back home, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you. We're searching for Lily's home. Until then, the ship is our home. Then maybe you could invite us on board, you know, to make it up to us. I'm so interested to see what you have inside. <laughs> of course, great idea. Come on in. This is the rudder. We steer it where we want to go. Wow. This is the anchor. We throw it down when we land somewhere. Ah. No, uh huh. It's a hoy. Here's the oar. Paddle if you want to go faster. Wowee, everything on the ship is so big. And this is where we put our supplies. Ah. We only have a couple apples left. How interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a thank you for your hospitality, we're going to put on a little performance for you all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. <laughs> May I borrow some of these apples for the, um, the performance. The apples? But of course. I love watching performances. Hello! Oh boy! This is so amazing! <laughs> yeah, again, again! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool! Hello! <laughs> yeah. Everyone, and that concludes our show. <laughs> hey, what about the route? We didn't ask the way. <gasps> hey, Jemima, you were magnificent as always. You were like a boa constrictor with a rabbit when you enchanted those furry fools. <laughs> Jemima! Hey, Jemima! Shade! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You haven't happened to see some porcupines, have you? They're kind of dark colored and spiky. Uh, yeah, they were just here. They're such great entertainers. They did such a good job juggling all those apples. What do you mean they're great entertainers? They're just a bunch of thieves. They ran off with my crown. Your crown? But we thought it was their crown. 
No, it belongs to my dad. My daddy is a lion. He's the king of the beasts. That's his crown. You see, I took it so I could play with it without asking. Yeah, I'm the king of the beasts. Oh, what a cool crown you're wearing. You think I can spin it? Absolutely not. This crown is royal property. Oh, well, spin it yourself then. Me? But I don't know how to. <laughs> it's really easy. Heads up. Whoa! <laughs> we'll teach you how to do it. <laughs> Hooray! Now I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, indeed you are. <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm doing it! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, loser! <laughs> Those porcupines are con artists. What am I going to tell my dad now? Hmm, these apples are going to be so tasty. How is it? Hmm, it's apple-y. Huh, yeah, apple-y. By the way, I also managed to grab something else that looked quite interesting. They stole... They stole the only apples we had! The anchor! They took the anchor, too! To the ship at once! Or else it'll fly away without an anchor! And me? But what about me? Oh, I'm sorry, your future highness. Come on, jump! I'm not going back home until I get that crown! So, are you gonna tell us why we're lugging this heavy thing? This thing is much too heavy to take along, and it's way too gigantic, and even worse, Completely inedible. Well, prick my needles, you two. Why don't you tell me why we took the lion's crown, huh? Jemima, why are you wearing that crown, huh? For the same reason that you took the anchor. Just because, so I could have it. But you guys, next time we steal something, let's make sure that it's useful, huh? Or at least something that's more edible. Look up there. Hurry, let's hide this thing and run away. <laughs> Down there! It's my crown! <laughs> Look how shiny it is! But never mind! We'll be sure to catch them! To the right! No, wait! To the left! Wait, no! Straight ahead! It's up, Cap! Take your apple back and you want them so bad! Ow! Oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you! Hold on! I've got an idea! Ha! <laughs> they're leaving! No, wait, they're up to something! Run away quick! <laughs> Let's go down the cliff on the vines! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! I got you now! Now we must take them back to my dad. They should be punished. Oh, ho, you thieves. Oh, please, don't hurt us. We'll give it all back. We won't steal anymore, I promise. Well, thieves can never be trusted. Arrest them immediately. But please, no, please, no, 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 please, don't. Please don't do it, please, no. But even if they're punished, the spines through their hearts won't disappear. What? Do you actually believe them? Well, I believe that there's still some good in them. They're just a little confused. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody's ever treated us so kindly before. Nobody loves us. Yeah, just because we have big spines. No, not because of your spines, but because you guys steal things. Uh, but what can we do? We don't know how to do anything else. That can't be true. Listen to this story about a nightingale. Once, a nightingale heard that every bird has its own talent. He thought, what kind of talent do I have? He didn't know how to drink while flying like a swift hawk. He couldn't hammer out a hole like a woodpecker. He couldn't see in the dark like an owl. <sighs> the nightingale became sad, sat on a branch and began to sing his song. He sang so well 
that all the birds of the forest flocked to him and listened to the nightingale until dawn, holding their breath. Then the nightingale realized that he had been looking in the wrong place for his calling and his talent had always been there without him noticing. Just like you, do you really not see who you are? You guys are all the real artists. <gasps> you know, she's right. I really love when we do our performances. <laughs> Ali, yo! Oh. Ha <laughs> Goodbye. 